So this seems to be a guy over here. Yes. There he is. Wow, quite heavy this guy, eh? Oh, you're not. Danny... Difference. Okay, let's talk about you first. Guess I come across pretty hyped up about all this. Yeah. It's not that I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm not one of those Norwegian black metal guys. I don't like get off on death. But it feels like all my life I've been waiting for this to happen. I've read the books, watched the movies, played the games, buried a survival kit in the backyard. So, this is not your average everyday zombie outbreak. Sure, you got your basic shamblers and runners, but they don't just bite. They do other stuff, like special effects stuff. And then there's the tanks. Like, you know, big Hulk zombies. Not zombie tanks with wheels. Oh my god, that would be amazing. That'd be just goofy. <laughs> yeah. But, kinda cool. What do you know about the draught? Yeah, the mutant smurfs? <laughs> not my idea. That's Edgar. I think he even collects Smurf figures. He's a bit weird, but he's totally cool once you get to know him. He's real funny. Just stay away from those dogs. Tango and Cash, they're evil. Carry biscuits. Carry lots of biscuits. I think I hear something about Tango and Cash. How is having superpowers working out huh. for you? Okay. My friend Carter, she has some real Sam Creed novel stuff going on. It's pretty wild. Like any girl can give you a drop dead look, only she could probably do it for real. But she's not like that at all. She won't even kill plants. Hmm. I've given up on asking her to. Oh, sweetie. Okay, Denny. Man in black bands. Young pop culture survival is Danny the the fronts the fronts knee the fronts. Okay, whatever. Watch as the men in black arrive to combat the supernatural menace. Or did they? According to Danny, they seem more interested in experimenting on the monster population. If they had ulterior motives, you should discover them. Alright, let's head on into this investigation mission. Awesome! I knew it! First the zombies rise from the dead, then they send in the men in black. And then the guys with superpowers show up. This is totally like the August issue of Katana Guy and Headphones Girl. You know, the one in Antarctica with the tentacles and mutant Nazi zombies. I am so psyched to meet you. Can you, like, fly? We could really use some superhero action in this town. I mean, it's a zombie apocalypse. You'd think with all the hours I put into Left 4 Dead, they'd let me carry a gun. But I just get the runaround. You're only 15. Yeah, I'm also like the last man standing. Not counting Andy or Moose or Henry or Edgar. A anyway, it's not like I'm accidentally going to shoot anyone. Living. This sheriff doesn't even believe I saw the MIBs roll up in their black vans with no license plates. I used my RC plane with a wireless webcam, got a bird's eye view of the action. They're packing some sweet tech. Real made in Area 51 stuff. Good thing they're on our side. Um, they are on our side, right? Yeah, I figured they would be, since they're hurting up the mutant smurfs. You know the drog? And probably experimenting on them. Think alien autopsy footage in front of a live studio audience. That'd be really neat. In a totally gross way, of course. You seem quite calm about it. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to be or the uh, voice acting on your character just fail miserably compared to the other actors, but well, whatever. Investigate the black band. So, yeah, let's see if the men in black are here. If they are, then this game just got totally weirder.
Like, now we have aliens here. What the fuck? Can I just take this one out? Like, for real? Can I just... Say, hey. Uh... Uh... uh let, no, later I will check it out. It's not really stopping me. I oh, know that's not a man in black, that's another Illuminati friend. Okay. Use laptop. I guess I know what I'm going to do in the next few minutes. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. No. Your wife, you gotta be kidding me. Who the hell is your wife? Andrea, Anna... Nah, that's just not that stuff. I need to know your name for before knowing this. I guess I'll keep a close eye on that Illuminati agent over there. She might lead me to the next clue. Nothing over here. His wife. Okay, I do not know who you are, so... I need to know exactly who you are before knowing anything about your wife. I mean, if you let the car. I mean, if you're experimenting on the draw, 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 draw. I cannot say your freaking name. There they are. I knew it. What the fuck is going on? Uh, yeah. Don't even think you can handle me, you fucker. You... Oroki, Emily Chan. Oroki? Kitsune Hayabusha. Emily. Okay, you could be his wife, I guess. Alright, ignore that. Uh, I will deal with those things level up later. So. Ghost online. Kitsune Hayabusha, and who are you? I was writing your name correctly, or you? No, I. Duh. Emily Chan. Kitsune Hayabusha. Okay, let's. How do I open the web browser? I do not remember. B. Okay. Okay, let's clarify something. I'm not going to look for the answer right now. But I'm going to look. 
What the fuck? There's... What? There's a... What? What? <laughs> okay, so they actually made an entire page of the Oroki group. Abnormally high drive. Ah, clever. Clever, they're not. Clever, clever, clever. Who are we? Employee finder. Oh shit, bro. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Uh, first, first you, because you're going to be end up nauseous. I should eliminate you also. Six eight eight four nine zero Kitsune Search Excal What Sally Anderson, okay. I will try first with Sally, then Sally Anderson. Sally. Nailed it. In case of emergencies, each component has an individual signature on your tracker. Do not leave advanced occult technology behind in the field. Information control. Okay. Each. Each. PK. Engage. What? Okay. Assembly sequence. Engage. PK. Pulse unit. Affix manifest agitator to pick. PK pulse unit. Affix etheric transponder antenna to manifest agitator and assume minimum safe distance before power up. Disassemble in reverse order to avoid etheric spikes. Possible on one attention. Okay. Okay. I guess that's the device? No, wait. Come here. I need your tracking device. I said I need your tracking device. Okay, any one of you have the tracking device or you just leave it over there? I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Seriously. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Alright, that was stupid as fuck. That was so stupid. Okay, now what? Okay, I just four. Now what? Oh god damn it, you have it to be You have to be kidding me that I have to go around with this thing. Does this even tell me anything? Hmm. Okay, I guess that the closer I am, the more it will beep. Hopefully. Yeah. There's one equipment. Okay. Mark 4 occult uh, attractor control panel. What? I don't know how to deactivate the occult attractor. Okay. I guess I did. Uh, man use manifold distributor. Oh wait. Well, shit. Okay. I do not remember how to deactivate it. But I'm pretty sure it's just in the instructions on the van. Why well, didn't thought I had to memorize those? Of course, I needed to. Oh well, let's do this. You know, with the microphone in the middle, I cannot see very well uh, what I'm typing on the keyboard, but okay. So, first, assume minimum safety... Okay, no. Affix etheric transponder antenna to the manifest. Then... Okay, first the... Uh, I think I got it. Um, like... Not gonna lie, I'm not trusting myself too much in... In my ability to do it without the... Uh, the instructions at my side, but... You know, if I can't, I will just go and take a picture of... She's coming right at me. Yeah. I thought those... Somehow I thought those snakes were coming out from your back, but no, they're coming from your stomach, which makes it even more terrifying. Terrifying that. Okay, first an antenna. Then. Manifest agitator. Then the. PK? Oh, uh, that did not work. That did not work. That's a... Uh, no...
actually did not deactivate it. What a surprise. Okay. Okay, I'm going back to take a picture to that, uh, to the instructions. Sally? Ah, by the way, Sally, your husband is dead. Uh, I know that's not a good thing, but hopefully you never find out. Because it's not something nice about his death, you know? Okay. So here goes the picture. So let me adjust some things in my... Uh, you know, my stuff before... Uh, Uh, there you are, okay. Why do I have the thing here on my cell phone though? Alright, there it goes. One, two, and... Alright! Done! Let's go to the... Um to the, I don't know what the hell you think. Oh, god damn it, really? You, you're going to... Oh, mother... F You're blocking every single hit I put into you. Seriously, you're blocking blood. How you're doing that? Not even bloodborne things can do that. And I'm talking about bloodborne. You, you know what I'm saying? Of course you, you, you don't, you don't, because bloodborne does not exist in this in the year that this game is happening. Okay, so fix a third transport antenna to the manifest uh, agitator. So first. The what to the what? Oh, don't you... Don't even... Motherfucker. Okay. We don't need this, but you know... You... You want it? You're going to have it. Motherfuckers, okay. Now the what? Affix etheric transponder antenna to the manifest. Etheric... Transponder antenna. Okay. To the manifest agitator. Then what? Then the man affix manifest agitator to PK pulse unit and then engage pulse unit. Shit. Here it comes. Oh yeah, that's a big guy. Here comes another witch. That should do it. God damn it. Okay. I'm not reading very well the instructions. Thank you. going to read the instructions one more time and if I'm not doing it this and, I'm, if I, and if I fail I'm going to look for something else I fix a third transponder and okay first engage pick PK pulse unit let's let's do it backwards
Uh, let's accumulation loop. Manifest agitator. Manifold distributor. What? Where's the mini? What is it? What? Engage PK pulse unit. Okay, first. Uh, what? Wait, pulse unit. Where's the pulse unit? Oh, I see it. Okay, so I'm doing this. I see why. I see what's the problem. I think. Man, you have so many little buttons here that... Okay. Okay. I guess my... My lovely boss will want to hear something about this. <coughs> Let me drink some water. Okay. This was a, a big moment for you. You should always remember your first industrial espionage. <laughs> Actually, it was. Thank you for reminding me that. I forward the data on this attractor thing to our tech guys. They'll be earning their pizza money tonight. Woohoo, pizza! In a hypothetical situation where Oroki had a warehouse full of this around the world and they were suddenly remotely activate, well, yes, hypothetically be a key enabler or a key liability. My advice, keep it on the down low for now. The important learning for you is that we don't do free cleanups of other people's messes. Bottom line, they're always a payback. Well, certainly. Well, that was an interesting work. Let's see what else this young man has to offer me. I'm pretty sure he can be a, a little bit more useful for us, the Illuminati. <laughs> oh man, I'm loving my work. <laughs>